the blood oh the blood that sweet sweet blood <laughs> As you can see, today's video is about a game I love a lot. Honestly, I have mixed feelings towards it. Why does Bloodborne have to be so hard but so cool at the same time? I don't know what really made me like it, but I really do, and I hate it at the same time. I have to admit that I didn't finish the game, because my frustration was too big for me to continue playing it. But, before the Soulborn community hunts me down, pun intended, I watched my boyfriend play it all, dungeons and all, like twice. He's a huge fan, I lost a count of how many times he played that game. Also, there's so many weapons to choose from, and each boss requires a specific strategy to be beaten. The setting is amazing, and really well designed. And the enemies are so punishing if we don't learn their patterns. Taking all this in consideration, I gotta say, Bloodborne is a masterpiece, even though I don't understand a thing about the lore. This is one of those games that I love to watch somebody play, but it's not my type. I think that Fire Wind was a million. I'm so bad in this type of games, for some reason. And I see my boyfriend killing a boss in a certain way, but when I try it, the boss is like, hell no, I'm not dying again, so fuck you. It's so frustrating and hilarious to see enemies and bosses still attacking you even if you are dead. Also, since when does it make sense that a common enemy kills us with one hit? Not even bosses do that, it's kinda unfair and stupid in my opinion. To me, it just looks like they want to annoy the player, on purpose. Another thing I like about Bloodborne, it's the co-op. But the only problem is that we have to grind the luminous and the fastest way to get it is by killing bosses. And what if someone is not that good in bosses, but wants to play with their friends? It will be a pain in the ass. And that happened to me. Like, I wanted to play with my boyfriend, but I didn't have the luminism, so it was a really big issue. This game has so many questions that weren't answered, and the biggest of them all, at least for me, is one related to the good ending. So we get to see our character wake up from the dream, right? So where was our character sleeping in the first place? At the beginning of the game, we see a dude messing around with our blood, turning us on a hunter. Should that be the reality, right? But then again, if that was really the reality, our character wouldn't be waking up on the middle of the streets. And we wouldn't have our hunter clothes on, for sure. Too many questions, so few answers. And this is all I have to say about Bloodborne. I had to keep it short, because if I had my boyfriend here with me, we would be talking about Bloodborne for an hour. Believe me. So, if you want to watch more videos from me, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends too. It will help me a lot, and I would appreciate it. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video, my cinemas. We don't have as many tools as we once did, but you're welcome to use whatever you find. <laughs>